Hi, my name is Connie and I'm one of the teaching artists with Resource Depot. And today I want to do an upcycle project with you with milk cartons. So we're, today we're going to make a birdhouse. And the very first thing you want to do with the milk carton is make sure you rinse it. Get it really good and rinse down inside because you don't want a sour milk smell and let it dry really well. In the meantime, I want to tell you that milk cartons are made from paperboard and they can be recycled, but because they have a thin food safe layer of uh, polyethylene plastic on them and because there's food inside the milk that we drink, we have to make sure that they go in the blue bins. So make sure you recycle them and put them in the blue bin. So we're gonna have fun and make our birdhouse and decorate it however you want, but also it's important to support wildlife. We wanna make sure that the birds are getting their food too. And if you don't have bird seed, that's okay. You could also uh, put a little place outside for them to make their nests. They make nests all over, um, in corners of houses, in the trees, so now they'll have their own little special spot too. So the materials that we're going to use is a juice or milk container, that uh, half gallon, but if you don't have one of these, you can use a plastic gallon milk jug too. But for this, we're going to use this milk container. Also, a permanent marker, scissors, a chopstick, or maybe you can find a branch in your yard or a barbecue skewer or any long thin piece of wood, maybe an old pencil or a straw, some paint, some paint brushes, some string, and a box cutter for the adults to use and a, a paper punch. But if you don't have one, that's fine. So first thing we're gonna do is take our milk carton and take our marker and we're going to draw where you want the door to be on your bird feeder of like a rectangle. You don't want it to go too far to the side, but you want it big enough that the bird will be able to get its food. And you don't want to go too far down because you need to put the stick in and you want the bird seed to stay in the bottom. So once you do that, you can do the same thing on the other side or I'm going to give mine a nice little window. So once you do that, have an adult help you by taking the box cutter. I'm gonna start. Make sure you go all the way through there. And then the adult can help you with this part. But once you get it started, you can also just take scissors Whichever's easier. Great, there you go. So you have an opening on each side for the birds. Now we're going to paint it white. You want a nice white background if you have it, and that way you can decorate it with different colors. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a white layer of paint on it. So once you have a nice white covered base, you're gonna take your other paints just a little bit, you don't need too much. You can always add more. And 
and start painting. Whatever kind of design you want, make it nice and bright for your garden or outside or wherever you want to hang it. So you just want a little bit of paint, but also make sure you only use like maybe two or three colors tops because you don't want to mix it all up and make it muddy. You want to have one little brush for each color paint. Or you can just use one or two colors. So once you get it painted and decorate it however you want, we're going to put it away over here to the side, let it dry. And in the meantime, if you have a bunch of paint left, maybe you have some paper that you can paint a picture with or paint another project with while you're waiting for your bird feeder to dry. If not, maybe you can get some plastic wrap and cover it up and use it later for another project, but make sure you rinse your brushes out really well, get them nice and clean, and then set them aside to dry too. So once that's dry, if you wanna give it another little extra protection for being outside, you can take some glue, just take a little bit of glue, pour it in a cup or on a plate, the brush, and just give it a nice thin layer. Just go over it really thin, and that'll protect it from the rain outside in the sun. And then you wanna let it dry. So now that you have your container and it's all dry, we're going to make a little hole down on each side underneath the opening. So if you wanna get an adult to help you with that, they can take the box cutter or some strong scissors or something and just make a tiny hole. And then we're going to use, I have a chopstick, but whatever piece long thin stick you have, we're just gonna put it in through one side and out the other. There we go, like that so that the birds have a little perch to sit on. And then at the top, so that you can hang it, I'm gonna take a paper punch and put it in at the top. Make a hole. And then we're gonna take some string or thread or whatever you have at home We're not going to use too much, but enough. You want to make it long enough that you can tie, thread it through. But I'm going to put a knot in mine because I'm going to put it on a hook. But if you want to, if you're gonna put it on a tree branch, make sure you know where you're gonna put it first because you might wanna just wait and tie it around the branch. But I'm gonna put a knot on mine. So there you go. Now you just fill it with bird seed, or if you don't have bird seed, you can still make one of these and leave it outside for the birds to make their little nest in, or maybe even just take a little break from the heat. So that was a fun upcycle project. Think of some other things you can do with milk containers too. Always remember your three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, 
and they do go in order of importance. And a very big thank you to our funders, Primetime and Children's Services Council. Be sure to come back for more upcycle projects. See you again. Bye.